welcome to our video. We are from group 3. Today, we are going to do some virtual experiment. Before that, I would like to introduce my group members which consists of me, Ayana Jom binti Nur Azri, Nuri Nafisa binti Zaini, Muhammad Zahid Ama bin Yusrizal, Nur Izzatul Fatin bin Astan, and last but not least, Cassandra Matt Edward. So, the topic of our virtual experiment today is alcohol density problem determining the percentage of alcohol in beverages. The objective of this experiment is to classify the alcohol in alcoholic beverage A and alcoholic beverage B in one of these categories which are less than 2.3%, between 2.3% to 7%, between 7% to 20% and the last category is greater than 20%. Let's move on to the first procedure, which is to determine the density of the 2.3% alcohol solution. In the first procedure, we need one molar of alcohol, which is 4.6% of alcohol solution. Also, we need water, 100 ml volumetric flask, and a scale. The first step, we need to place the empty 100 ml volumetric flask on the scale and press tear, then record the mass. Next, pour 50 ml of 1 molar alcohol into the volumetric flask and then pour 50 ml of water into the same volumetric flask. After that, record the mass. Then, we need to calculate the density of 2.3% of alcohol solution by dividing the mass over the volume. Next is procedure 2. Procedure 2 is to determine the density of 7% alcohol solution. In this procedure, we need the same equipment as in procedure 1, which are water, 100 ml of volumetric flask, and a scale. But in this procedure, we use a different percentage of alcohol. We use 70% of alcohol in the procedure 2. So, the first step is same as the first step in the procedure 1, which is record the mass of empty volumetric flask. Next, pour 10 ml of 70% alcohol solution into a 100 ml volumetric flask. Then, pour 90 ml of water into the same volumetric flask. After that, we need to record the mass of the solution and calculate the density of 7% of alcohol solution. Let's move on to the procedure 3. Procedure 3 is to determine the density of the 20% of alcohol solution. In this procedure, we use the same equipment and chemicals as in procedure 2, which are 70% of alcohol, water, 100 ml of volumetric flask, and a scale. As usual for the first step in this experiment, we need to record the mass of empty volumetric flask. After that, Pour 28.6 ml of the 70% of alcohol solution into the volumetric flask. Then, pour 71.4 ml of water into the same volumetric flask. Next, we need to record the mass of the solution and calculate the density of the 20% alcohol solution.
procedure 4 is a bit different compared to other three procedures. In this procedure, we need alcoholic beverage A and a new 250ml beaker. So, the first step is we need to record the mass of empty 250ml beaker. Then, we need to pour 50ml of the alcohol into the beaker. After that, record the mass of the alcohol and calculate its density. Next is procedure 5. Procedure 5 is a repetition of procedure 4 with different alcohol. In procedure 5, we use alcoholic beverage B. So the first step is we need to record the mass of empty 250 ml beaker. Then we need to pour 50 ml of the alcoholic beverage B into the beaker. After that, record the mass of the alcohol and calculate its density. The last procedure is procedure 6. Procedure 6 is to compare the density of alcoholic beverage A and alcoholic beverage B with the densities of 2.3% alcohol solution, 7% alcohol solution, and 20% of alcohol solution. Categorize the alcoholic beverage A and alcoholic beverage B in one of these four categories that I mentioned earlier in the video, which are less than 2.3%, between 2.3% to 7%, between 7% to 20%, and the last category is greater than 20%. Finally, this is the data that we get from the experiment. The density of the 2.3% of alcohol solution is 1.991. The density of a 7% of alcohol solution is 9.88164. And the Density of the 20% of alcohol solution is 3.37815. The density of the alcohol beverage A is 0 0.979426 and the density of the alcoholic beverage B is 0 0.918236. We can conclude that alcoholic beverage A and alcoholic beverage B both are in the same category which is category 1. That's all for our virtual experiment for today. Thank you for watching and good luck for your final exam. Bye-bye!